Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can head there. We posted something the other day. You can head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly content. We have a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual, and Spotify as well. And just enjoy the content that we're putting out. Let us know what you want us to talk about, and we'll be more than glad to talk about it. Just have an open mind when you talk about whatever you talk about and we have a patreon account which you guys can feel free to become members and will appreciate um a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys are doing is very very much appreciated like i said in my last video i'm so so grateful for you guys so thank you for subscribing and just thank you for always watching our videos a big shout out to the person that suggested this. I don't know why the title is not showing, but I'll figure it out when posting. So yeah, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Introduction about Tawheed, mm -hmm. Sheikh Sarab. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we know Tawheed is, uh, we can define it, oneness of Allah, but it's much more complex than that. <coughs> um, I once read an article by a non-Muslim who spent a, a lot of time around Muslims and interviewing them. She, she wasn't Muslim at that time. But she said, if you ask me one thing about Islam to describe it, I would say God-centered. And I thought she really got that right. That whatever else she understood about Islam, it wasn't architecture, it wasn't polygamy, it was, it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is at the center of everything. Unfortunately, uh, there's more to it than that. And uh, Tawheed is defined not just that we attribute to Allah, to Allah everything that is only attributable to Allah and not to anyone else, but also that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator, which makes him not the creation. So we find that many of, people, of mankind go astray on this particular issue, even many among the Muslim ummah who try to imagine for themselves, try to fill in the blanks as it were. Whereas we as Muslims, we understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beyond our comprehension. And that's why he sent messengers. I used to write a lot of programming in C language. And I look at the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as pointers. In C we have pointers, all right? It's a number, but it points to a location. So every word that we have about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to take it as it is. But we cannot really interpret it or go beyond it or add anything to it. Because it's a word that we know, pointing to something that we cannot know. Or cannot know completely. And this is kind of, I think, the, the final touch of Tawheed that many times uh, gets lost in many quarters. It's easy enough to say, you know, I believe in God. How many? I believe in one God. Is that Tawheed? Maybe. Maybe not. So... There is a difference between to, to say it, to say, I believe in, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a creator, as the one who deserves to be worshipped. Well, for example, you could ask some more questions. You said he's one. Okay. Uh, where is he? He's all of this. He's everything. The tree is Allah. The earth is Allah. Is this Tawheed? No. So as many scholars have said, everybody says one. But another issue of Tawheed is that separation. Mm -hmm. You cannot be the creator and the creation cannot be the same thing. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no beginning. Subhanahu. He has no end. The creation began at some point. Everybody agrees on that. It began at some point and it will end at some point. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no such no such attribute. So this is this is the, the separation is as important as the unity. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaykh Abdul Aziz. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. As uh, my brother here said, that Tawheed is defined as monotheism if we go to the dictionary. But it's a lot, lot more than this word. And uh, he has explained many things. And I would like to add to what he said instead of repeating what he just uh, 
listed here as attributes of a tawheed itself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ وَيَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاوُتِ فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاوُتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ اسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْعُرْوَةِ الْمُثْرَةِ Now this is a condition. You cannot say that I believe in Allah or believe in God and stop. You have to reject and disbelieve in al-taghut. What is al-taghut? Al-taghut, anything else other than Allah, worship beside Allah. So here is the point here. Here is the key point here. Is to avoid any worship in any creation, no matter what it is, in order to really, really get the tawheed as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have prescribed on us as followers or as human being or believers. Okay. Another thing, you have to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by His signs, by His attributes, by His names, and by His creation also. Because if you look at the creation, and you look at how perfect this world, look at the sun, look at the moon, look at the wind, look at the clouds, the rain, and so on and so off. The perfection of this creation has to be Someone has to be behind that who is greater than this creation. The sun. Nobody can get near the sun. Now who created the sun has to be someone. And that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So believe in Allah. Worship in Him alone. Neglect or avoid anything other than Allah. People, they say, yes, we believe in God. But they worship the sun. They believe in God. They worship the fire. They worship Buddha. They worship idols, trees, and so on. That is not right. So believe in Allah, Allah's oneness, worship in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, and believe in that He is the one and the only one who deserves to be worshipped. Very interesting. Um, many times, especially nowadays that I um, accept many things, the people, the pastors out there, the bishops out there, or whatever titles they hold, they are out there officiating marriages to maybe objects. How can I marry mint tea because I love mint tea? How can I marry blueberry cheesecake just because I love blueberry cheesecake? That doesn't make sense. You must also check your people. I think we should be going for mental health checkups because it doesn't really make that much sense. And at the end of the day, like they're saying, Tawheed is meaning believing in one God, but then don't, don't just stop there. Remember that just because you're believing in one God, live the way he wants you to live. Don't avoid unnecessary things don't make feel some don't make someone um feel bad about themselves appreciate life appreciate god um thank god praise god just remember god in each and everything that you do each and every day the list may go on and on and on there's so many things that you can say about god that that you can't even comprehend otherwise for for a creation to to exist there must be a creator like he said like the last speaker said let me know what you guys think what do you have to say about about this star he and the about about god let me know what you think and i'll be more than glad to read your comments make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and of course like i said guys check out my blog morning coffee with funny but if you're into poems you can follow me on instagram so funny l and my wordpress account so, uh life of blue for poems and short stories this other one i just post whatever comes to my mind otherwise make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video